Well, hello, hello, hello. I am back. I still am on location and I'm trying to get another video done just because I know how my week is going to go. Um, so this is going to be, in theory, the inaugural episode of Magazine Monday because you guys will see that I have bought a stack of magazines from Crash Dash and the point is not to just have them sit there and vegetate. So I'm starting with this one and this is um, the Papercraft Essentials issue one, uh, 210. I'm not sure from what the date is. I can't tell to be perfectly honest. It doesn't tell me here anywhere. But regardless, it was one of the ones I picked up on the sale off of Craft Stash. And if it's still available, I will link you down below. Um, it will be an affiliate link with me, which means that it, it means no difference for you in purchase it, but I will get a small commission for you having purchased it. Um, it doesn't change the fact that I love this. It doesn't change the fact that I'm going to use it. I, I, I love it and I plan on making more, but at least I want to give this a whirl. And it's one of the ones I pick. Why? Because I'm on location and I didn't bring everything I, I thought. I, it's hard when you're going and you have to pack on the fly to bring everything you need. So this is something that I know I can use. So the card, after going through the magazine, I fell in love with the concept of this card in a slim line, but I, I, I started to pull the parts and look at the stuff. So I actually have worked that out a little bit, but I'm doing a different version of it because I saw something that reminded me of Nan and I want to make the card for her. So I'm still going to make a slim line. So the first, so we're going to get pretty much cranking on this. So First things first, I've got to grab a piece of my heavy duty cardstock that I did manage to bring here. And I need to cut it down to eight and a half by eight. So, I mean, eight and a half, that's the easy part. The eight is not so easy, not at least not with the small one, but I did bring the cutter pillar so that I can just go and take my eight inch piece of paper or my, you know, my eight and a half by 11 and there we go, I'm gonna cut that. And I did manage to remember, okay, let me put this right out down here. Right here is the dog food big bucket. So I'm sitting here at the kitchen desk area at my sister's. Whee! We're gonna flip this over. And I, like I said, I have an idea, so I'm already just, you know, cranking this out. And let's see if we could not make this video three hours long. What do you think the chances are, people? <laughs> All right. What have we got to lose in trying? If we don't try, if I don't send a goal, then um, there you go. So, oops, as I you know, bang around here. Um, so I did take my eight and a half by eleven, uh, my by eight, and I have scored it in half, pretty much. And it's always a little off. I swear these card stocks are not squared off. So it seems like I always have to make an adjustment, or I just live with them. And at this point, I'm just going to live with them. So we got that. So I have my card base. I'm leaving this aside and I'll just leave it here so I can kind of, you know, uh, use it for inspiration, but I've already completely changed this around. So now I'm gonna set this aside. Let's pull out our pieces because really this is what makes the card is all of the card toppers they gave me. So where in the other one I think uses, is it on here or it uses thinking of you? I read the garden rules. And I love it. it says listen to the birds feel the breeze read a book take a nap sip a drink relax and my mother-in-law Nance the you know peanut gallery's mom is an avid gardener she slowed down a bit the garden honestly has seen better days it needs she needs help but God bless her she's 93 years old you know so that is saying a lot so right now I my focus is making working what needs to be done and I have told her now and I go let me finish the inside and then we are going to move out to the outside and we're going to bring breathe life it's not bad bad it just you can tell that she needs help so we're going to help her get the garden back together so I'm going to use this piece I'm going to take relax because gardening for her is just it's a bit it's a passion so we're gonna do, and then I frequently, when I can't see her, I always poke out every once in a while from the office and in my room, and I look for her, and if I don't see her, then I go outside. I now have found her spots. So I frequently will find her reading a book in the patio, under the covered patio, and or, now, or literally she's nodded off there. So that's like, that's her spot. 
So these are the pieces, at least the one things I am, and we'll see this piece is one of them, but I don't know, I, I've popped it out and maybe I shouldn't have. So we'll pop it back in, right? Can I do that? Oh yeah, I can, Whoa. because we may adapt. But I do know that because of this, I have decided, and I find it amusing that the card in the sample in the picture uses the backside of this paper, which is lovely and really pretty. But are you kidding me? Not use that? Yeah, but it's not gonna be in this card, but yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> it's just not working for me. But I am going to use this paper, which I know now is a lot of this, but it also has in the sample card um, another sheet, which is, and it should be in here because I already pulled it out. So let me see as I yammer away, oh, here it is. We will add this to it to pop this out, which we will also pop off with some. So I, it works really well together. So I have thus far, Paul, and I still, like I said, I still have a bunch of pieces here. I'm thinking this might come into play or this could even come into play. So let's see. Let's start with this and, and, and then we're going to adapt. Because remember, the inspiration and the samples they hate here are guides. They're not girls. You can now do whatever makes you happy. So I am going to go ahead with this. So being that my card, that's not my card, that is the scrap piece of paper, is I'm going to give it, it's going to be a little bit more. Well, yeah, this, I think it's a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. This should be, let's see, it should be eight inches, quite frankly. So let's see, let's measure this out according, because I didn't bring a roller. According to this, it is a, it's a little smidgen short. It is just a little smidgen shy of eight inches. And my card is eight and a half, so I always thought I was going to have um, definitely, oh, it actually is bigger than eight and a half. So on top of that, I'm telling you, I told you this card stock was not squared off. I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna turn it this way, and I'm gonna measure out an eight and a half. Let's do that. There we go. So let's square it off for a second. So now let's see how that looks. Because then I can't, yeah, now it gives me, so I know, since I have four inches wide, I gotta cut this three and a half. So I'm turning it, cause to me this is right side up. And I'm going to cut a three and a half section, a three and a half inch section piece of paper off of that. And then that now becomes our matte layer, the background layer, which looks lovely. I could have made it like, well, I could have, it would have been me. You guys know me, I'm really liking right now the, the leaving only an eighth of an inch, but I'm limited by the size of the paper. And the other thing I would do is mount it on something else, but I didn't bring any other paper. I really did not. I should have brought more, but it's the kind of like guessing game of what should I bring, what should I bring, what should I bring, what should I bring? And I didn't bring it, and so sue me. But now, so now we have this, and if we look at this again, just to take, cause this part of the inspiration I'm gonna take, and then the rest I'm gonna fly by the seat of my pants. It, to me, it looks like you take the entire length of this. So, and I center it. So I'm thinking it's going to be like, a, it looks to me like it's a half an inch on the side. So if I have three and a half inches really here and I want a half inch on each side, I'm only cutting a two and a half inch strip, which seems so criminal to me. But unless I go maybe three eighths, leave it a little bit more. But if I leave a half inch, you do also see a lot more of the paper. So, and then it gives me more of this to play with. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with what I think. And I'm not even looking, I'm not reading the instructions. The instructions actually don't tell me what, it says step by step, but it sure as baloney doesn't tell you what, what um, width. So I am going to wing it. God help us all, all right? And there's a little, oh, there's a little, let me hang on. There's a little right there. It looks, there we go. Now it looks like there's nothing there going on. You didn't see anything. Nope, there wasn't a little bend in it or a crook or whatever. So, okay, so now we have, so we have this piece. We'll set this aside. I'm done, I think, with at least this paper trimmer for the moment. So now we've got this piece of paper, and now we have this piece of paper that we're going to more or less kind of center, go up and down. And I'm planning on putting my relax 
like right here, and it's gonna extend a little bit, which is fine, because I, my envelopes are bigger than that. We are going to use our going with this. So shoot, you know, if I, I could have cut it bigger, I could go this way. And, and again, this is my card, my rules, I do what I want. There is, they did a little butterfly, and I can put that here so I can do the relax right here. Now I can, let's see, let's see what we've got here. We've got a pair, no, I put a pair there. Um, and I don't know if this will, I mean, this looks almost, let's see, let's, let's give it a try. And I can then decide if I like it or I don't like it because we can go right above that and add that to add a little bit of dimension. I mean, we could do that. Um, we have this one, but this one, there is not a lot of space. Mind you, like I said, I have multiple. I have two of them, so I'm not using the only one, or I could not use it at all. So I think we either go and go with this or nothing at all. I think we leave it at this. And the point is to make, this is the point of these. They give you all these pieces so you can make a quick card. So gosh bless America, why don't we make a quick card, right? And, and, and but what will you do if you, I'm not talking to you for three hours trying to make a quick card? Heaven forbid. So give me a second because I'm, I'm gonna wanna foam mount those and those foam mounts are just out of reach. So give me one second. I have returned to you victorious with foam and a pair of scissors. And I think I'm gonna put that pair in there. That pair is speaking to me. I just haven't decided quite where the pair is gonna go. But we should start by put, doing some a little bit of assembly here. So let me start with just putting this piece down first. So we're just gonna go around real quick with, and now I can feel a little bit more free about using up tape because I did get all my new tapes from Amazon and I use it so and if you guys are interested I'll link you down in the in the description box for the tapes that I use the refills for the ATG and I have picked up I swear I have picked up my hair a hair a dog hair well not a cat hair because they don't have cats here but a, a fuzzy that did not want to come up easily so now whoops then we're gonna do this right side up we're gonna pay attention just on pure principle and let me just line that up quickly. And of course, I don't have my little tooly things. I did bring my um, my Misty in case I wanted to do any stamping, uh, but I didn't bring any stamps or any, I mean, well, I do have the stamps from the card kits that I got, the, all those kits, the magazine, but I didn't bring any ink. Fat lot of good that's gonna do me, <laughs> right? Now, this one I will also lay flat I do have to decide, I have to make a quick decision though. And, and I am leaning, gosh, it's like, I really want that flower to show. So why does it have to be on the left? Why, be, oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I could go, well, I have to go up. Um, see, it really goes here. I'm just, I feel so sad about covering that flower, but I do have the other flowers down below. So let's, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna not um, get crazy about this and just do it and well oh my goodness there we go we'll find other uses i mean we still have more of that paper not a ton mind you but we still have i can still i'm gonna trust me i will use every square inch of that little piece of paper that's left okay so now let's lay this down let me decide on which way i'm going to go that one i just want to look again at the sample it's dead center but i have decided not to make it dead center why i don't know but i am just feeling although let's see if i i could do it because this one i'm going to go all the way not quite off the edge so let's you know maybe we will we will not dead center it up and down but i am definitely side to side since i'm already not worrying about covering the flower i'm going to center it as best i can and now we have that and now this my friends is going to take a bunch of foam tape so we're just going to grab my foam tape and a little technique that I use, I learned from YouTuber Glitter Grunge Creations. Um, this was a great idea, he did it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, and it's made such a difference in me being able to cut foam. 
And I'm still using this big monster roll of 3M that was given to me. I forget how long. I mean, you can tell how long I've had it that it's, and I think the person who had it had had it for a while because I think it was already yellowed when I got it. But, you know, I've been using this foam tape for forever. But this is a tr technique that Ryan taught me on one of his videos, and that's just to lay it on its side, snip, and then I got that. And now what I always do is you burnish. Burnish those strips in because it'll make this so much easier. I always grab these tweezers because these tweezers are insanely sharp. Look, and I pull out. I'm getting really good at this. <laughs> I even impress myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know why you guys put up with me. I'm now going to take this and I'm just going to lay it down. I do want to, I'm not centering it. I'm going, well, I can't, quite honestly, I could. I could center it, and what is there? There, oh, okay, just there's a piece of the paper. Okay, we just tore that off, no problem. Maybe I do dead center it. I'm gonna dead center it, but, and then here and here, but maybe upwards, because I wanna fill that, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put that relax in there, so it'll be more upwards, so let me see. Okay, I'm gonna call it there. And I can get my relax in right here, and still see that least those, that pretty flower right here. So now I'm gonna take more foam tape. Let's lay down some more foam tape. And I'll just put a piece right there. And then, and I didn't really have to turn it, I did just because, I don't know why. And then, I'm gonna lay it down at the bottom because I can do another strip. And it's probably what I should have done here. I wonder if I could peel this up. Let's see. Boy, this stuff really, really sticks. Because I am, and I will probably lift it up. Ah, no, I think I can, I can work around it. I know how I can work around it. Okay, so now, I'm literally gonna use that patterning in here to find my more or less my center or close to it. But this is what I love about these scissors. You guys saw my review and my talk about these scissors. Um, they cut through this without sticking to the foam. And that is some wonderful amazingness to me. So we're gonna take a little piece here, cut that and stick it right there and I'm gonna take a piece here. I'm just gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna put that little piece there and bridge it. And does that fit right there? I may have to snip it down. I'm gonna snip it down. I'm gonna have literally a little tiny square left. Is that not funny? I got. But it likes me, apparently. It wanted to stay. Okay, and there. So now, let me move that aside. Move, move, move. And let me burnish this again. I will. Don't do that. Don't bend your car. Do a, you know? Take a little bit more care than I am. I'm just kind of like trying to not make this usually my usually long videos go long. This one's gonna be quick. Actually, it might be like whoa. We will see. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> You'll see it when you see the video. You know how long or not this is. But this might not be too bad for me. Which is good, but it also proves the point of look how quickly a card comes together with this magazine kit. And it is so, so pretty. I just really, really, really love it. It's a little wonk, but you won't be able to notice it the minute I lay it down. So I'm putting it here so I can still see that flower and center it. It's always going to stick out a little bit on both sides, but that's going to be okay because my envelope is bigger. Okay, so we have that. Now, what I need to find out is where'd the pair go? Ah, there's the pair. Now, here's something I wanted to show you guys is that when I punched it out, I ended up with these rough edges. This one, I'm just going to snip off. I'm going to carefully, even with these scissors, I think I could snip it off for just fine. Maybe not. If not, then I'll grab my littler ones. There we go. And then what I do is you grab a nail file. And this is a new nail file I acquired. We went to the Orange County Fair Friday. We had a little bit of a date night 
and at like the gadget vendor he had a bunch of nail files for a book and this is like so i have you know rougher you know smoother rougher so but really quickly i could just take a nail file and move remove those little tabs that get created when you do when you do when you um add it so i was thinking of really adding the pair down here at the bottom of this so I am going to, where's that little square I just had left over? Ha <laughs> ha, right? Was, is that not perfect? I'm going to put that little square there. There's a part of me, oh, baloney. I probably shouldn't have done that because what I'll do now is actually cut it. I'm going to take that square off if I can. Let's see, can I? I can. The square went unused but it will get used, but because it's a little bit longer and I don't like anything to feel flat. I'll kind of center it, there we go. We'll use that exactly and we'll lift, there we go. And there we go. I think I'm just gonna put it right there. Let me stand it up a little bit. Um, and there, there we go. But wait, there's more because didn't this kit come with stickers? I remember. So hang on a second. Let me just pick up the whole mess. Look at that. We have the stickers. So I can put a sticker on the back of this. We'll take this little piece over here. And oh my goodness, so I have to do that. I have to fix something. Look at that. I went too far off the edge. Where's that little handy tool from? Let's see, let me see. Oh my gosh. And let me see if I can very carefully cut through the foam at the edge. I think I can. And then let me see if I can, if it comes up. It will, it'll come up in pieces. But yep, it came up, it'll, uh, I could have done this with undo as well. There we go. I advise you guys, now you've learned something, I made the mistake. And I'm leaving it in, I wanna see, you could see my, well, how I, I'm solving this with just a craft knife. Or in this case, my brother-in-law's box cutter. There we go. And we'll just peel off these little pieces that stick out over the edge so that you don't see them. There we go. There we go. Okay. But now, that was all that side. We're going to take one of our little handy dandy stickers that were provided for us. And I will stick that to the bottom in the back. And then, all I do, I'm going to grab my handy dandy pen that I always keep in my jar of power there, is I will put. I'll sign it, that's how I sign all my cards and the year. And there we go, guys. Start to finish, tell me that wasn't a quick card. This is what makes these card kits so, these magazines so amazing when they give you everything. I love it. I am really pleased. All I have to do is stamp a sentiment on the inside and I can write her a cute little thing and leave it for her, you know, and just leave it on her her spot. She has a spot on the on the she always sits. It's like her perch, I swear. She's like a little she's like a bird. She always sits at the same spot at the kitchen table from morning till night unless she goes out in the garden. She is there. It's her spot. She watches TV. The only time is she'll move if she goes to watch TV and then she'll move a little bit closer to the TV to be able to read the closed captioning and be able to hear better. Other than that, but there we go. Beautiful card. We're going to give this to to Nan. Um, and hopefully you you enjoyed this. Hopefully you got how quick and easy these kits are. This was an easy one. Um, if you liked it, let me know. Okay, give me a like, drop me a note. And if you want to see more of my ongoing madness, you guys know the drill. Subscribe, ring the bell. I'll be back always. Um, so I'm going to let you go to see what other trouble I can get into while I'm still here and have still have time to record with good light. And we'll see you on the next one. So until then... Don't forget, we are all a little mad here. So come on, craft the madness with me, okay? I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye.